Hey everybody, watch this review here with a look at the DC Universe Classics Wave 10 Joker. This is a Walmart exclusive wave, which means that most of us did get screwed and ended up buying it off eBay. I ended up paying 30 bucks, including shipping and handling for them. Which I mean, I mind a lot, but I don't mind too much because I really want this figure. I mean, it figures that they'd finally release the Joker. He wouldn't be in the first five waves, instead he'd be in a Walmart exclusive wave. But all in all, it's a great looking wave. It has the movie edition Batman, which I've been waiting for, but most people probably won't pick up because he's just got the figure stand and the fact that they seem basically the same sculpt as a lot of the other ones. It's got a repaint of the Man Bat from the DC Superheroes line. But of course, this is the color that he should have been in the first place, so I imagine a lot of people will pick him up. Power Girl. The Joker, which is an updated look, which, I mean, I've wanted for a long time. Beast Boy, also wanted. But he's more expensive, so it's Man Bat. And Robot Man and Forger, who I don't care about. One of uh, the Doom Patrol guys who slung from that same thing as Beast Boy. Uh, the Joker bio here is the Killing Joke version, where he's a failed comedian who, after a horrific accident, his one bad day becomes a supervillain. But enough about that. I'm going to open him up, and we're going to take a look. So hang on. Okay, for those of you watching at home, right out of the box, he smells like Chinese food. Now, he actually has a lot of really interesting articulation. I am happy I picked this guy up. A few people have mentioned the fact that the legs are loose, but mine aren't, as you can see. I get some amount of resistance. The only problem is he doesn't stand very well because he's a very thin figure, and it might just be the accessories weighing him down, or it might be the fact that he's on felt right now, but... I like the face sculpt. The paints are all very vibrant. I mean, there's not a whole lot of paint variation in terms of tones. It's mostly solid tones, except for down here at the pants, where they have some shadowing effects tossed in, the fact that it's pinstriped. But all in all, he's a great-looking figure, which I really wish had come out in another wave, just because this is a more expensive wave to pick up, being a Walmart wave. Mine has a defect on the shoulder, a little bit of flash. Other than that, like I mentioned, he has some pretty incredible looking articulation. I mean, some stuff I haven't seen before. His wrists will move, but you get some a lot of resistance because of the sleeves. He's got the single point at the elbow. His bicep joint looks just weird because it's with a shirt instead of the other thing. And then they have the same kind of double split joint for the shoulder instead of a traditional ball joint. Or maybe it just looks that way because... They had to do it a little bit differently, but it looks kind of cool. And then it really does mesh well with a the suit there, where it looks like you'd realistically be holding up an arm while you're in a suit. But I don't think I've had any DC Universe characters so far with suits. The only problem is that the peg for the rotation on the bi joint is, bicep joint is a little um, loose-ish, so I would try to do all the movement from the shoulder instead of the lower arm if I were you. Just because that will look more and more separated with time, I assume. Um, he does have an ab slash diaphragm joint, but because of the sculpt and so forth, and the fact that he's got the jacket on, is you're not going to be able to really do anything with it. I don't know what this thing back here is. I mean, maybe somebody can fill me in. But, and every now and again I do see that in some of the figures, so... But as you can see, he's got his trademark little tail coat and so forth. Um, standard leg. Fortunately, because of the sculpt, it's not going to move the full extension forward, which is a disappointment. Not a massive disappointment, but a disappointment nonetheless. Especially because you want know, to pose him doing his characteristic like dancing stuff for some of the uh, happier incarnations or more wacky ones, but... That's definitely a problem. Um, he's got a calf joint. Or upper, th actually thigh joint, sorry. And um, single joint at the knee. Then the ankle will move. But it'll only move up and down. It can't move left and right. I know, all in all, this does loosen up pretty quickly for this one leg. But it is staying so far, so... Very cool figure. He comes with a few accessories, the first being the hammer. So he may layeth the smacketh down. 
As you can see, it's got a colorful little face on the mallet. Mallet, not hammer, actually. My bad. Comes with a smiling fish, which I believe is probably from the animated series. A cane. Decent looking cane, twisted a little in the box. Head's a little off kilter, but... And then some playing cards, which fit okay -ish in his hand. I mean, they don't fit, like, spectacularly in there, but you can definitely see him holding them and so forth. All in all, very nice figure. Uh, the articulation is a little problematic, but other parts of the articulation are just kind of damn cool for the way that it interacts with the sculpt. I mean, all in all, I think the over tor oh, the upper torso is just really well done, and the entire lower torso is kind of iffy. If you can overlook the fact that one of the hands isn't going to really, one of the wrists doesn't move a tremendous amount because of the cuffs or whatever. But yeah, I mean, if you can find them in stores, which is probably isn't going to happen, I would totally pick him up. If not, I still would probably consider picking him up because he is one of Batman's most iconic villains. And I could probably just do an entire video on the character, but... Oh no, up until relatively recently, in the past few years, I didn't really see him as Batman's primary antagonist. Just because they devote so much time and, like, all the other stuff to the other villains and so forth. And Batman does have such a cool rogues gallery, but... He's definitely one of the, uh, bigger arch rivals, as he has consistently remained a villain and so forth. But yeah, until next time, folks. By the way, he is six and a half inches tall, and... Here's a quick look at the interior packaging for people interested. Power Girl up the top, Beast Boy over here, Robot Man, Man Bat, Forger got really ripped up when I was opening the package, then you've got Batman Joker at the bottom. All in all, it's a pretty cool looking one. I mean, some of the other ones haven't thrilled me as much, but these are pretty hot. Till next time, folks.